your teeth. Today I am going to talk about BTEC CSE but if you are watching this video for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. So beginning with a brief introduction as I am always do, I will move forward with the eligibility, then the entrance exam, the course material like the course subjects, the specializations, then your career prospects that is in case you are moving for future like further studies or you are moving for a job. In case of that, then the job placements, the recruiting companies, and so on. So let's begin. BTEC stands for Bachelor of Technology and CSE stands for Computer Science and Engineering. Now, thus, this course is BTEC CSE. It is a four year undergraduate level course in which students learn about the computer software and hardware theoretically as well as practically and grow their skills in the field of computer science. Computer science and engineering is an academic course in which students learn about the different types of technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, IoT, then is data science and also different programming languages that are widely used all over the world. In this field, they learn about data handling, data structure, operating system, information security, database management system that is DBMS, big data analytics and many more. Now moving on to the eligibility for admission. In that case, the minimum required qualification for this course is to pass higher secondary that is class 12 with physics, chemistry and mathematics as its core subjects from any recognized board that can be state board or central board with a minimum aggregate of 60% marks for the reserve for the general category and 45% for the reserve category. Now, so since most of the colleges and universities have their entrance exams, so the students who have appeared in the higher secondary examination and waiting for the results are also eligible for these exams. Moving on to the entrance exams for the course admission. Firstly, JE mains, JE advance, then PITEEE, SRMJEEE, KIITEE. Now, beginning with J mains. J stands for Joint Entrance Examination. It is an engineering entrance examination conducted by NTA, that is National Testing Agency. Twice a this is a very popular engineering entrance exam in India. Before 2018, it was conducted by CBSE. Firstly, it is conducted in the first week of January and the second time it is conducted in the first week of April. Moving on to the second one, that is JE Advance. Now, JE Advance is conducted by the IITs for the admission in the, of the students in the 23 IITs. Now, JE Main is the eligibility test for this exam and it is held after the announcement of JE Main's results. Third, VITEE. Now, it is conducted by the Valor Institute of Technology for admission in the BTEC programs. It is a very popular engineering and trans exam and it is held online. Fourth is SRM JEEE. Now, it stands for SRM Joint Engineering and Trans Exam. And the exam is conducted by the SRM Institute of Science and Technology. I hope you all understood by the name for the admission in its BTEC programs. Offered by the campuses in Delhi NCR, Padapalani, Ramapuram, Kantanpulapur, and so on. Now it is also held online across 125 cities in India. Fifth is KIITEE. Now, this exam is conducted by Kalinga Institute of Industrial Training to offer admissions in the BTEC programs. The exam is held online in 60 cities across India. My next topic is the specialization of the course. Firstly, in the branch of Big Data Analytics. Next is Artificial Intelligence, Cybersecurity, cloud computing and so on. So one by one I am going to elaborate it. Big data analytics is today data is increasing on the internet with a massive speed. Now people learn to deal with large and complex data sets to get unique information like customer preferences, 
the latest trends in the market and so on. Next I said is artificial intelligence. Like AI means intelligence which is created by the humans in machines. Now it's a branch of CS which is developing smart machines that can perform tasks by itself after training. It includes various technologies like machine learning, deep learning, then data science, etc. Next is cyber security. Now it's a branch of information security that protects computer networks, devices, and data sets from any unauthorized access such as hackers. Now in this you can learn about the security of data and services and its devices too. Next is cloud computing. Now it is a pay and use service over a network without any direct active management by the user. For example, healthcare companies are using the cloud to develop for more personalized treatments for the patients. Next, I'm going to tell you the admission process. Now, there are a few steps you need to follow. Firstly, the application form. Now, the applications for different examinations are available online on their portal before the exam date. So, you can fill the application from there in which exam you want to appear. Next is the examination and the results. Now, after filling up the application form, admit cards are available online. You can collect it from there and you can sit for the exam. And after you are completing the exam, the announcement of the results is like if you clear your cutoffs, then it proceeds to the further steps. Third is counseling. Now, counseling of all the successful students are, is being done in different colleges where they fill the name of the colleges of their choices. And fourth is admission. After completion of the counseling, the student is allotted a college and a campus uh, where he or she is eligible to get admission in the allocated course. Moving on to what does the course cover, like the core subjects of the course. Programming languages like C, C++, Java, Python, etc. Data structure and algorithms. Database management, computer networks, design and analysis of algorithms, software engineering, computer organization and architecture, operating systems, logic design, and artificial intelligence. Now, talking about the top college names IIT Mumbai, IIT Delhi, IIT Madras, IIT Kanpur, IIT Hyderabad, IIT Kharagpur, IIT BITS Palani, NIT Warangal. Now, what are your career prospects? Now, as a computer science engineer, you can make your career in uh, not only the IT sector but also in various public and private organizations, the government departments, the commercial and the manufacturing sectors, and so on. Now, entrepreneurship is also another option, or else you can move for further steps. In case you are moving for further studies, you have two options. Firstly, you are moving for MTech, that is, uh, you need to have qualified gate for that. In case you are moving for MBA, then you need to qualify CAT. Or else, if you are moving for a job, then your job profiles are going to be look like software developer, database administrator, computer hardware engineer, data scientist, computer system analyst, computer network architect, web developer, content developer. Next is the top recruiters of VTech CS like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, TCS, Cognizant, Wipro, Infosys, Accenture and so on. My last topic for the video is the required skill set for the best job placement for the graduates of BTEC CS. Firstly, analytical skills, problem solving skills, creativity, critical thinking skills and last is ability to write algorithms. So this is all about the video. If you want to know anything else, you can visit our website nomyscholarship.com and register yourself for more information regarding scholarship and admission. Our experts are there to help. With this, I'm going to end my
my video, share this video with your friends and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.